I am Jacob Andrew Cawthorn. I live in Reno, Nevada, and I am in sixth grade. Hi, my name is Shreen, and I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Mark Breton, and I live in Garland, Texas. I am Jasper Huguenin from Mercer Island, Washington. I'm in the seventh grade. My name is Annie, and I go to the Nightingale Bamford School in New York City. My name is Mohamed al Hadirida. I'm a homeschooling eighth grader, and my favorite subjects are math and science. My name is Kendall McGowan. I'm a seventh grader in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. Hello, my name is Joshua, and I'm 10 years old. I'm Bailey Sperling, a sixth grader in Sasser, New York. My name is Jeffrey. I live in Wheeler, Massachusetts. I'm a fifth grader. My name is Tate Wealthy. I go to Orono Schools as a fifth grader. My name is Reese Wilkinson. I'm nine years old. I live in Mater, Texas. When I was three years old, I played my first video game. I'm a really big fan of simulation games. Computer games, RPG, adventure, and action. I like story games the same way I like reading. It's like the person who made the game has got this whole universe made up. I got into game making when I was 10. I decided, why was I playing the games? Why don't I make my own game? The first really interesting program I wrote was a program to teach me my multiplication games. My goals for the game was to make it educational. I wanted this game to be fun, but I also wanted to inform kids about the ocean while they play. I created this game because I wanted as many kids as possible to learn how to program. About sustainability, if you eat all the plants too quickly, then you won't have any left. I designed it so that the player would use their imagination and creativity to help clean up the world's environmental problems. I had to start out Kind of simple, drawing the sprites with stick figures and everything. While I was making my game, I used comments from my teacher, classmates, and friends to make my game more fun. Probably my favorite part of building this game was testing it. I built a game that I enjoyed playing. It teaches a lesson about teamwork. After that, I took the game and gave it to my cousins. This is my user testing. And then I took the feedback, made it better, and then gave it back to them and see what they said. Then I had my dad play it to make sure it was challenging enough for adults. This is a lot harder than I thought. My dad really loves video games. It gives kids power and can be very empowering for everyone to learn how to program. Hopefully in the near future I will find the time to create an even more interesting story rather than just a simple adventure game. I'm going to be even better even cool and even funnier. When I grow up, I want to be a computer programmer. I might be a doctor when I grow up. I want to be a professional video game tester or a professional video game designer. You'll be seeing me making games in the future.